Hey everyone, welcome to this new weekly series of Feedback Fridays. So in this series, I'll be reviewing your Webflow-made projects and giving you feedback on it. All right, so here we go. All right, so Feedback Friday, here's the first one. And thank you all so much for responding to my tweet and my Facebook post. I have 44 sites to go through. So I'm going to do two each week and I'm going to randomly choose which two. Uh, and yeah, so how I'm going to randomly choose is I'm going to pick a number between one and 44 using random.org. So here we go for our first one. We're going to choose number 14 right there. Denny, I'm going to check out your site. So I'll just make a make a little mark right there and then let's do let's generate 1 through 44 again 27 and for Nick Soy all right those are the first two let's get to it all right uh, we'll go with Denny's first now just remember before I start uh, this is all very subjective. This is just from my point of view. I am not the best web designer, but uh, I just want to help everyone who wants some feedback. Okay, so take it however you want, but just know that I'm here to try to help you out. All right, so here we go. Denny, you're first. Ah, okay. Uh, nice and minimal. Okay, that's cool. Um, whoa, okay. Uh... Oh, interesting. Very interesting. This is minimal, and this caught me off guard um, when it first loaded. Uh, what I would suggest huh, is maybe a fade in rather than just appearing when the video shows up. Maybe have a fade in so it's not so abrupt. But I love this. It shows your personality because it's, it's different. And I love how you have a quote here. Expression is... Basically, the process of creating something that's missing, attempting to get an idea across to someone else. It's at the very least kind of like being able to pass something along. All right, cool, cool. Let's scroll down and take a journey into your mind. Okay, we have a fixed nav bar. That's cool. Nav bar. Okay, so your nav bar doesn't have any hover effects. Um, maybe you should add some to make these more interactive. So you have a hover effect here, so maybe something here, even with a border right, you know, or or changing the color of these to like, or, or even having opacity of 50% and then on hover it's 100. Maybe something like that. I love how everything's black and white uh, until you get here. That's, a f that's fine because this is part of the, of the actual brand of uh, simple part. Okay, I like these. I like the iconography on the tools that you use. Very simple and minimal, but yet, but yet engaging. I like it. Very nice. Oh, I just noticed that there's a circle at the right. Yeah, I noticed that you have a circle. Yeah, that's cool. Nice touch. Cool. Cool. Wait, when did that other circle come in? Oh, it's, it's always been there. Okay, so you have... Oh, okay, golden ratio. I see. You're doing the golden ratio. Nice. Subtle. I like it. Cool. Nice way to show off your work. Very nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Cool. Um. Okay, so I see you notice how there's a lag... Uh, if I hover over something, so let me see if I refresh. Oh, it's still going to show it because it's already in my cache. So I think I know what you're doing. You're doing, um, uh, when you hover, it changes the background to another image, to the colored image um, of the icon. Uh, what you can do is just use grayscale. So in, instead of doing, um, uh, changing the the image from black and white image to a colored image just do grayscale or contrast or or, uh, or no saturation of like zero uh, percent using css filter and then on hover change that saturation back to 
um, to the original. Okay, or grayscale would be uh, it would be grayscale right now, a hundred percent, and then unhover zero percent on the grayscale. So that way you don't have to make the user load two images, one for the off state and one for the hover state. Okay, but other than that, dude, this is looking really good. All right, let's go even deeper. What does it look like on responsive? All right, all right. Can I move? Hold on. Let me make this responsive. There we go. Okay. Nice. Okay, so you remove the back. Okay, so the background video is still there. Now it's gone. Oh, nice. I incorporated cooling ratio away. Oh, nice. Very nice. Design skills, hover over icons. All right, yeah, so this would be have to be a click. If you can change this text to say click the icons to see details rather than hover, because on mobile, you can't hover, obviously. Uh, so yeah, but I like this. Wow, let me go back here. Let me turn this off. I didn't play around with this yet. There we go. Nice. Um, what do the numbers mean? Is that like a percentage? So, uh, I would strongly suggest not doing the numbers. Um, and what, what does 306 mean? Is that when you first started using it, what do the numbers mean? 303, 301. Okay. I, I see here. This is one. So that's one, 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 two, one, three, one, four. Okay. I see. Um, I don't think you need the numbers, any of the numbers, or even the percentages, like the pie graph, the, the, the circle graph. I don't think you need that, okay? Because, like, what is 100%? No one's ever going to be at 100% because Photoshop and all the other tools out in the world are always evolving. So no one will ever be 100%. And, and what, yeah, what means 100%? No one's a complete master at any of these tools. So yeah, so just remove those. All right, back to responsive. All right. Yeah, everything flows. I love it. Yeah. Good job. I was wondering when it will break. When will this go down? There we go. Okay. Yeah, watch out. Uh, this needs some space at the top above your head. And also, yeah, thanks for leaving the badge on. Oh, this isn't a custom domain. Okay, so, but if you want to leave the badge on, that's fine. <laughs> Look at this real quick. Nice. Nice and simple. Love it. Great job, Denny. All right, next one. We're going to go to Nick Soy. Uh, Fox EA. All right, this is, ooh, creepy. Creepy. Should I press play? Oh, oh e-commerce? Close for you. Oh, creepy. Cre yeah, this is this is unique. This is different. Um, obviously there is hardly any contrast, so it's hard to see the products if I really want them. Now if you have a brand or you already have a following, then not really seeing the products is not really that much of a concern to you. Wait a minute. This is Shopify? Wait, is this Webflow? Yeah, it's... Oh, okay. So you embedded Shopify into it. Okay. That's cool. Um, Interesting. What is this brand? I'm slowly scrolling down because i'm like journeying into your mind what is this okay uh okay okay you have bags cool cool all right oh hello is this you okay hi i'm foxia okay cool i'm a video wait huh oh Oh, interest. Okay, okay, interesting. Scroll effect. I'm a video director, producer, 
Filmer, editor, maker. Okay, cool. Great job with that. Nice touch. Work with the team to make short films, music videos, and interesting projects. I made these videos for clients. Hire me. Awesome. Okay, so this is very unique. And if people are looking for this type of artistry, then yeah, you um this is this is unique. Um one thing I would strongly suggest is I don't know what sections are coming up. Like, okay, videos by me, and then I go here, I have clothes. And then I'm like, what what's coming up next? I don't know. I'm just taking a journey down this page. Um you want to give people some sort of um uh, some sort of nav bar to to show them where they're at. So, I mean, clothes for you, kind of like what Denny did. So, let me go back to Denny's site, which is a complete opposite of your site, which is very bright, minimalistic. Yours is dark and minimalistic. So, it, whew. <laughs> so he, uh, Denny has this nav bar stuck on the left that tells me what's coming up and where am I at Um currently all right so maybe you can have a nav bar here or add more nav links up here just to show people what's coming up and what section or which section they're on okay so that would be my only uh suggestion as far as a user experience point of view uh but i but you you know this is your design and i'm all for it because everyone has their own unique way of telling a story so this is good. Great job. Um, add the nav bar, nav links, and to me, it's good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and look at responsiveness. Okay, let's go up here. Cool. I was wondering what's gonna happen to the social links. Okay, here we go. So as you can see here, there's no background to your nav links. So let me see here. Where's your nav bar? I'm just gonna do it in code. Uh, da -da. not nav overlay. I'm trying to find your inspect navigation. So if you can have some sort of background color, you set the background color to transparent. But what if it was uh black or at least? gray or something so that way as i'm scrolling down your icons and your links don't get lost within your design okay oops uh, you have some overlap here watch out for that um oops let me close that okay cool so you have some overlap watch out for that um but it works out in mobile so you're fine here you may want to fix the overlap yeah, you have some overlapping issue. So careful with that. How does this look? Okay. That's interesting. I like that. It has this 3D effect. I like it. Huh. Cool. All right. Great job. Yeah. So just fix those things, and I think you should be good to go. All right, should I press play? I'm scared. Okay, I'll press play. It's kind of creepy, but here we go. Uh, oh, interesting. I don't have um, the recorder recording the sound from here, so I don't know if you hear it from a mic, but very interesting. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. All right, cool. We'll just stop it there. Uh, but yeah, great job. All right, so that's two out of the many websites I need to go through. But yeah, this is going to be a fun series. And if you want your site added to the list, please post a link, uh, post in the comments your link to your website, and I'll get to it. All right, thank you everyone so much for your support. Please click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, the like button, and the notification bell. If you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at the Pixel Geek. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.